James again from Radio.co. In the last video, we looked at some of the basics and getting your station up and running. Now let's drill down in how to manage your station's media and how to upload files in bulk. Now, we've designed the workflow of the Radio.co studio to be really logical. So throughout the videos, we'll be covering each of these menu items from the top down. The second menu item is media. This is where you'll manage every MP3 file you upload to the system. And if you click on media, you'll see the files that you uploaded in the first video. Now, as I mentioned, the browser upload is great if you only have a handful of files. However, the most efficient way to upload a lot of content is to use FTP. Let me quickly show you how to do that. We recommend using FileZilla. This is a free FTP desktop software, which you can download from www.filezilla-project.org. And it works on both Mac and PC. Once installed, we click Upload Media again inside Radio.co, but this time we're going to choose FTP. Now these settings you'll need to copy and paste from the control panel into the corresponding fields in FileZilla. And make sure when you copy that you're not copying any blank space at the beginning or end. Once you've copied the host, the username and the password, click Connect. The software will then begin connecting to your account and you can begin uploading. To upload through FTP, you simply drag and drop the files from the folder on your local computer into the remote server section. You'll then see the software forms a queue of content to upload. And as items upload, if you go back and check the media section, you'll see them appear. You might need to refresh your browser every so often to see the latest files. Now let's move on to how to effectively manage your files. And once you start uploading hundreds of MP3s, it can be inefficient to manually browse through them. That's why we have a real-time search allowing you to quickly whittle down and find music based on song title, artist, or even album. We recommend using tags to further organize files by genre or media type. The tag-based system is very flexible and can be used however you like. In this case, I have lots of songs that I want to categorize by genre and station sweepers I want to go in between the music. So let's say I want to tag all Ed Sheeran music with a tag called Acoustic. I'll firstly search the artist, then hit Select All, or pick the individual tracks that I want to tag. Then simply type the name of the tag into the tag field and click Add. Now the tag has been created, next time I go to apply this tag to other files, it will come up as a suggestion for me. I'll do the same for our station sweepers, and I'll add a jingle tag to these files so I can easily play them between songs. But more on that in the next video. Finally, I want to draw your attention to the tag section. This is a list of tags you've created. You can edit existing tags, change their color, or rename them. We find that use of color is a great visual indicator. You can even remove tags that are no longer needed, but remember when you remove a tag here, it will also be taken off files and taken out of any playlists. In the next video, we'll dive into how to create and schedule playlists so your station is broadcasting 24-7.